Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about Money Multipliers with Leakages. In this video we will revisit the idea of money creation in the macro economy but in this example we have an initial deposit of 500 euro which we've seen in our previous video. We have 10% reserve requirement the percentage of cash that a bank must hold as a percentage of their deposits which again we've seen in a previous video but we've introduced in this example here that there's a 20% of M1 held as cash so 20% of the base money supply is held outside the banking system in our example here as cash so this is outside the bank vaults here Okay, so we're going to start off and in this example, we will look at round one where there is an initial deposit of 500 euro in the banking system. This 500 euro necessitates that 10% must be kept in reserve, a required reserve. And that means that 50 euro is held as cash inside the banking system and potentially the difference between these two figures, 450, can be loaned out into that economy. So a new loan of 450 created from an initial deposit of 500 euro. However, from that 450 euro loan that is created, 20% is held out in the macro economy as cash. So only 80% of it goes back into the banking system. So 20% multiply by 0.2 to show that so 20% of 450 is 90 euro so 90 euro is held as cash outside the system which means it's the difference between these two figures between the loans 450 and what is held as cash 90 euro that can go back into the banking system in round two so 360 euro is the difference between them and that comes back into the banking system in round two as a new initial deposit. So that new deposit then, 10% of it must be kept in cash as reserve, so that's 36 euro. And the difference between these two figures can be loaned out again, that's the potential maximum loan. So the difference between them is 324 euro. So that is a new loan issued into the economy and now we have two separate loans the 450 and the 324 created we know though that people will hold about 20 percent of this out in the economy as cash so we multiply it by 0.2 again and we get 64 euro and 80 cent is held outside the system as cash so it doesn't get recycled into the banking system which means it's only the difference between the loan and that amount held as cash that's recycled back in and the difference between them to be recycled back into the banking system is 259 euro and 20 cents so again that's the difference between the loan and the amount held as cash 20 percent will be held as a reserve requirement which is 25 euro and 92 cent and again, the difference between those, these two figures can be loaned out. So the difference is 233 euro and 28 cent, of which we know that 20% must be held as cash. So multiplied by 0.2. And that means that in terms of cash held outside the system, it's 46 euro and 66 cent. So we can see that this process would continue on in terms of money creation. The initial 500 euro in deposit creates in our simple example here, three rounds of separate loans. This would continue on until the loans reach zero down here at the bottom. And we would see the total amount of money created in this case here. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.